Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the uh, Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and the um, 16th of June, two th uh, uh, 1991. I wish it was in 2000 Wrestling Challenge still existed because when they were building talents that actually A, mattered and B, also you could see where the stories were going. Things were much more logical. Big Boss Man kicks us off here on the 16th of June. Big Boss Man, of course, going to his main feud with the Mountie. And, um, you know, that's a good enough match, one would suppose. Boss Man defeating Mark Ming. Sidewalk Slam 236. After the bout, uh, Boss Man handcuffs Ming to the middle rope and leaves him there. I don't really know where the handcuffing of a guy to the ropes is uh, a babyface move, but he remains with it, I think. People were so used to seeing it that ultimately, it, you know, it just remained because it was a staple in the boss man at the time or had been. Um, you know, I mean, Ming gets a couple of um, missed shots, spine buster by the boss man, uh, also hits the sidewalk slam and the big boot and other such. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter promises to eradicate Hulk Hogan in the Desert Storm match uh, they're kind of building towards a match made in hell which is of course the three on two ultimate warrior and uh, uh hulk hogan versus adnan mustafa and sergeant slaughter uh we go back to a power and glory match power and glory of course roma and hercules managed by slick uh they are going at it uh, with a couple of enhancement talents here um and again managing to do that relatively quickly Roma uh, and uh, Hercules defeat Scott Bezo and Larry Cameron, uh, 343. Roma pins Bezo with a flying elbow drop off the top rope. Hercules had the backbreaker submission applied and uh, an interesting new finish, maybe trying to, sp trying to spice up uh, the Power and Glory team. Doesn't really ever work because they never regain the glory that they had prior to. The WrestleMania uh, 7 squash job to the Legion of Doom. Understand why they did it at the time. Uh, Roma, though, hits a good drop kick and uh, more backbreakers from Hercules. Uh, Roma does a good bit of posing. Odd to me that Roma uh, never really got uh, a championship push at the time. There was a couple of teases of it, but it never really materialized throughout his, uh, what, five or six year, let's see, 80 seven no he was there in 85 so probably six or seven year career of fall roma uh they are again plugging the boston garden undertaker promises and wonders if the ultimate warrior knows what he's getting himself into in the boston garden in the uh match for the body bag uh then we go to the big boss man promising to get his hands on the Mountie, after all that has taken place between those two individuals, then we move to the Dragon Ricky Steamboat coming out. Dragon, and uh, not even referred to as Ricky Steamboat in some matches, he does the fire-breathing thing, fire-breathing dragon. Of course, that makes sense uh, to most people watching at home. And so that's that, and uh, ultimately manages to get there from here. Um... You know, it's it's pretty basic and uh, getting getting what they want out of things there. Uh, we move to um, Steamboat, you know, deep arm drags, very basic maneuvers. Uh, Steamboat facing off against uh, enhancement talent here, and the enhancement talent ends up being, um, let's see. Uh, Randy Sharkey, 218, hits the flying body press after a couple of deep arm drags, uh, you know, slides through the ropes, martial arts chops, and of course that win there. Then we go to IRS beating Rob uh, Allen, 316, right off Samoan drop. Not sure why the Samoan drop is where they went with that particular finish. For IRS at the time, ends up being the right off leaping clothesline, which... I don't know, seems a little bit more, I don't even want to say better, just just more in line with something that uh, IRS can do well, uh, maybe is the best way to put it. Uh, needless to say, IRS does use basic spots like the, um, 
abdominal stretch and all that. In between, we've got a event center promo promising that the Rockers will fall to Tanaka and Kato. Ultimate Warrior talks about uh, going in, in a body bag match with the Undertaker, as is being hyped for the end of June. I believe June 22nd, the next time they're in Boston with this. The layout of um, Andre the Giant in the uh, attack at the hands of... Um, Gotta grab my phone, and we will be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. With that, we'll be back in just a minute as Andre the Giant covers his uh, disdain for earthquake and the need for knee surgery. We'll be right back. And again, Andre talking about needing knee surgery and basically playing it as if the concept of uh, going at it with um, earthquake maybe. The last thing that he does, he actually says, could be the last thing that I do. We go to a Warlord versus uh, uh, Enhancement Talent uh, match next. Warlord hits a vertical suplex. Warlord hits uh, forearms and eventually uses the... Uh, uses the... Um, you know, all of that... All of that... The... the benefit of a super plays um is full nelson and uh that match going 251 with larry williams isn't really necessary i think they were just trying to get extra face time to fill out the tv uh warlord doesn't really need that much time having beaten a guy in less than 90 seconds uh the week before maybe two weeks before so warlord stretching this match out doesn't really need to happen N- the Final match of the day, the Orient Express with Mr. Fuji defeating Bobby Jones and Jim Cohen, 358. Kato pinning Cohen after back suplex falling leapfrog by Tanaka over Kato and Cohen's back. Good double team maneuvers by Mr. Fuji's team here. Um, Obviously, you know, they're trying to get something... I don't even know if I'd say more out of it. It's just, it's it's simple and it's there. Uh... You know, obviously, uh, there is talk that uh, everybody's kind of talking about Sid Justice in in, uh, pre-done promos as well. Um, um, And the babyfaces believe Sid's going to be a babyface. The heels believe he's going to be a heel. Mr. Perfect basically saying that uh, Justice is underhanded. uh, The Bulldog disagreeing. Interesting that they're giving it that much hype. Um, You know, the... Enhancement match led by Fuji's team. Pretty good here. Chops by t- by uh, Kato. And again, Kato managing to hit a uh, neck breaker. Uh, they do the old uh, across the ropes spot there. Uh, Jake Roberts again talking about uh, the hunter getting, getting things hunted. Virgil and Roddy Piper to face IRS and uh, Teddy Biasi with Sherry Martell, a.k.a. Sensation Sherry. Uh, the Money Incorporated name hasn't happened yet. Uh, Ricky Steamboat versus Paul Roma is is going on around at the loop. And this is a Boston Garden show for the 22nd of uh, June, so a couple weeks away. Uh, Piper and Virgil against uh, IRS and Ted DiBiase and other things. Of course, Hogan and Slaughter on top here. We're going to move to the next one. We'll be back with more right after this.